Okay, guys, we're here today with JT Tua. It's a huge honor for me. Two times ADCC champion, no gi. He just won this year, 2019 and 2017. I think, like, probably one of the best guys in this division nowadays with no, no gi and with gi. And uh, today he's gonna show us here one of his favorite moves. That's one knee cut that he uses against the butterfly, right? Yeah. Uh, yep. JT. And uh, guys, I have heard that he is one of the guys who has the most pressure <laughs> when he's on top. So <laughs> can't wait to feel that. <laughs> so let's do it. Absolutely. So right from here, guys. Um, you know, without the gi, especially the butterfly guard position is a very popular guard, right? Especially for people to elevate you, get underneath you, maybe start attacking legs. Uh, which you see a lot nowadays, especially when it comes to competing without the gi. So let's say we're here, uh, maybe in the open guard. I like to, I actually like to force myself into the butterfly guard, right? I'm a huge believer in keeping that distance controlled and staying heavy on top. So if we're here playing in the open guard, I like to control at the ankles. When I control the ankles here, my whole idea behind it is to keep the heels glued behind the thighs. This way he has less range of motion with his legs. So I'm here just like this. Now, I'm gonna take a step back. As I take a step back, I'm gonna try to plant both of his feet just a little bit down towards the mat. Here. Now I'm gonna come in with my hips over the top of my hands. Boom. When I come in here, I can release the hands now, drop them over the top, drop my chest. Now I'm looking to keep the palms of my hands inside of the armpits and keep my elbows locked in tight. I'm also staying on my toes, which is a huge, huge detail when it comes to staying heavier on top. You always want to have some sort of driving force behind you so you keep driving into your partner. Especially here, once I put him flat against his back, most people in Bangladesh want to extend their hooks out to regain you know, uh, a good position on you so, so they can start playing butterfly. But here I'm going to stay on my toes so I can keep driving into the person on, on bottom. Elbows are in tight, heads down tight, so we can keep them down. Now from here, before we even start passing, I want you guys to know in your mind which side am I going to pass to, right? So in my mind, I'm going to go to my right-hand side. I want to pass to the right. So when I pass to my right, I want to pull back with my left arm first. So I use my left arm, I bring my elbow on top, and I slide straight down. When I slide straight down, I put my left hand straight on his hip here. Like you're scooping the hip up, like an ice cream scooper. Now, if you, already, if you guys notice what I'm doing already, is I'm lowering his right leg out to that side. I'm weakening his butterfly hook right off the bat. So again, we're here, staying tight, I'm trying to hold him down. When I'm ready, I slide my elbow up and slide the whole arm down. So now this way, my forearm's inside of his thigh and my left hand is on his hip. Right hand still on the armpit, keeping him away. Now when I'm ready, since the left arm came down, now the left leg pops up. When the left leg pops up here, guys, we're gonna, almost like you're surfing, right? Like you're on a board and you're leaning towards one side to make a sharp turn. I'm gonna lean hard to my left. When I lean hard to my left, I'm gonna try to bring my form down to the mat, lowering his right leg as low as I can go. Here. Now what I've done here, I'm forcing his hips to face that way. Now, like I said before, we chose what side we were gonna pass it before we even started all of this, right? I said to myself, I'm gonna pass to the right hand side. So what I'm gonna do before I even start passing is find a way to force his hips to face the other way. By doing that, we guarantee ourselves that we are a step ahead of our partner. And that's usually how you win, right? Being a step ahead, um, it's always gonna be better for us. So when I get to this position here, I've lowered him, right? So I'm gonna do that again. So you guys can really make sure you key in those details there. Lower the arm, tight. And when I lower the arm, I'm not whipping up and dropping it in. I wanna stay tight. I don't wanna make him feel any sort of way on bottom. Like, hey, what's this guy doing? He's making some real crazy movements on top, real smooth and, you know, just, just slick about it, right? You wanna catch him by surprise. So I reach down and I grab, I post, I lean. Now, when I lean here, we're in a good spot. I wanna lean forward now. When I lean forward here, I'm gonna place my hand that's still in the armpit, which is my right hand right here. I wanna place it above his left shoulder. Now, as I place my hand above his left shoulder, I'm gonna lean forward to be able to do that. As I lean forward, I make my post. Now, as soon as I make my post here, I'm gonna bring my left heel up and over. When I bring my heel up and over, you can put your foot down on the mat now. Once my left foot's down on the mat, I'm gonna whip over to my right hand side. When I whip over to my right hand side, I've just entered myself into a really deep knee cut position. Now, the cool thing about this here is that I'm guaranteeing that this leg doesn't come in front of us. 
We all know if we're in the knee cut position, one of the things we deal with the most is the knee shield. And it can be very annoying to deal with and dangerous. So my left arm is positioned perfectly inside of his thigh and hip. And while I'm here, guys, I'm always trying to flare my left elbow out and keep my left shoulder below his knee. If I'm up tall, he may come over the top here and just destroy the positioning of my arm. But I want to stay low and in the pocket here. I'm trying to keep my weight inside of his right leg. So while I'm keeping my weight inside of the right leg, I'm pushing the leg out that way. At the same time, I have a post, I'm sorry, I have a, uh, a staple with my left leg on his left leg. So if we think about it here, I'm separating both legs away from one another. Always the easiest way to pass someone's guard is to not allow the legs to work together. Two, I'd rather fight one than two, right? So I'm forcing his right leg out that way as I keep his left leg stapled down here. So now we're in a really good spot, right? When it's time to pass the guard, I'm gonna sim simply let my left elbow roll over the top. So this way I guarantee his leg doesn't come in front of me anymore. Now my left arm's gonna drop straight down to the mat. I'm gonna hug the hip. This way he can't hip escape. So I'm gonna hug his hip here and wedge it right behind his back. Now, right before I start passing the guard here, I really wanna make sure that after I pass, I can hold him down. Because one thing is passing the guard, but then another thing is, can you hold the person down after you pass the guard? I'm gonna lean forward and look for a cross face here. When I put the cross face in, I like to put my right hand behind his back and on his spine here, just like this. Now, once I put my right hand in position here, I post my left hand on the mat and I'm gonna pull him in towards me. As I pull him in towards me, I let my right shoulder roll here, putting a lot of shoulder pressure down. When I put so much shoulder pressure down, Bernard, can you try to lock your half guard here? It's very hard for him to lock the half guard. And if he does lock his half guard, it's gonna be a very weak half guard. I can simply just point the knee away and slide straight through. And once I slide straight through, I'm gonna focus on keeping my left hip on his hip here. Hip on hip action, on my toes, no knees on the mat, and I keep my left arm right where it's at. I wanna kill the hip escape. So I have my left arm controlling his right hand, his right side of the hips, my left hip on his left hip, and now I still have this cross face here. He tries to turn into me, I can make him look away, but most important part is that we just pass the guard, and not only pass the guard, but we pass the guard with some good control to make sure we solidify our position here so we can move on, advance, eventually look for the submission off this pass. Hey, that's amazing. Thank the, you. The, the shoulder pressure reminds me of Adolfo times. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> well, let's see again here. Yeah, time. absolutely. Absolutely. Oh. So again, we're here. You know, one rule that I have is avoid making grips above the knees here, right? If I start gripping up here like this, you may pull me into a triangle, into a single leg X, whatever the case may be. So it's always going to be harder for you on bottom to attack me yep. if I keep my grips and my body a little further away. So hands on the ankles here. Now I keep your heels glued tight to your thighs. I try to plant your legs here. As I try to plant the legs here, I drop my hips in. As I drop the hips in, I'm leaning forward. Let your weight drop. When I let my weight drop, chest goes down and the palms of the hands inside the armpits here. You wanna make your partner look like a scarecrow. So I drop down and the hands go inside. Elbows are in tight. Now, like I said, choose the side you wanna to pass to. I'm gonna to pass to my right hand side. When I pass to the right hand side, you're gonna start working with the left hand side first. So left hand comes down, left forearm comes down inside the thigh. Now I post the left leg up and I lean hard to my left. Once I lean hard to my left, I'm gonna post my right hand up above the shoulder, lean forward, heel up and over. So I bring my leg inside. Now I'm gonna whip into my knee cut position here. When I whip into the knee cut position here, notice how my knee is pointing in towards my partner the whole time. Huge believer in that. Never drop into the knee cut with your knee pointing away. Reason why, exactly, the leg can come over the top. Not only that, I've created space now between his hip and my hip, which makes it a lot easier for him to get the underhook on bottom, so we're working for a half guard, which, you know, this is the last guy you want doing that on you, right? <laughs> so right from that knee stays pointing towards him at all times. Now I get the shoulder nice and low, below his knee, and I'm always flaring out with my left, now, when you're ready to start passing the guard, we're gonna look for that cross face. And I put my hand directly behind his back here. Now, my whole goal is to glue the palm of my hand on the person's spine, right? That's the best way to control somebody, straight down their back. And when you reach down as far as you can, your arm's gonna stop going once your shoulder hits the jawline, 
the neck, and that's exactly where you wanna keep your shoulder, not in the eye socket, not in the ear, straight down the back. So again, I'm here, and I reach straight down the back here. And it's always gonna be easy to do because no one's gonna stay flat on their back. Here, if he stays flat on his back, I mean, we just pass right through, right? He's gonna be on his side, trying to you know battle here, trying to get to a position where he can fight from. So I lean, and I look for my hand straight down the back. I post, I pull, and I shrug away. Make him look away here. I'm bringing him out like a towel. I'm forcing his upper half one way as I keep his lower half facing this way. So I keep my staple in place. This way he can't move his hips back out that way. So again, we're here pulling in and I'm driving in here. When I drive in, we don't have to lose position here because we pulled him in like a windshield wiper. Don't go chasing shoulder pressure. Bring the shoulder pressure to you. So when I post my hand on the mat, I use it so I can pull him in towards me. Shrug it away. Now I point my knee through, walk my hips back in, hip on hip action here. I keep my left arm glued around the lower part of the hips and his back here. So this way if he tries to bump and hip escape, it's gonna be much harder for him to escape here. No knees on the mat, toes on the mat. And whenever you pass somebody's guard, you want your hips and your chest facing them. That's how you can keep your weight down on them. Now we're gonna start looking for his submissions. So you see a lot of things call my attention here. So what yeah. sounds to me that you, you mix up like different types. For example, you started from your knees, so yes. I'm not expecting that you would go for the knee cut. Exactly. And then you 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 figure out a way to arrive in the knee cut. Exactly. And then when you were in the knee cut, I would not expect that you would put a ton of pressure <laughs> your shoulder on my face. Right, right. So it sounds like you mix up like the standing pass. You use like one standing pass that is knee cut, but you go from your knees. Yep. And then inside the knee cut, you use the shoulder pressure pass. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, that's that, that's amazing. I think when you're able to tie different positions together, oh, and yeah, different yeah. styles of just to get into one technique, it's how you take it to the next level, right? Because then it's harder for the person on bottom, for example, with this pass, to read it. Oh, yeah. They're like, is he trying to pass standing? Is he trying to put pressure down? I'm not sure what he's doing. He's yeah, that's doing... exactly how I felt. Because right. when you started putting your knees on the ground, I was like, you seem really doing the knee cut pass. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't look like it. Right. No, but that was very, very interesting. Catch him off guard, you know. Yeah. As a lightweight, you know, when I first started doing jiu-jitsu, I was maybe 130 something pounds. So from early on, I was usually one of the smallest guys in the room. Okay. So I always had to find a way to, you know, be slick about my techniques. How okay. can I do something without them really knowing I'm doing it? Okay. And this is a perfect example of that. It's one of my favorite ones. It works well for me, gi or no gi. Um, it just works all across the board. Very simple to hit okay. too. And just to finish, can you show me the detail again about the shoulder pressure? Yes, absolutely. That was painful. Absolutely. <laughs> so when I'm here in the knee cut position, right? Uh, like I said, we're, you know, we have our hands still on the hip here. We're fighting here. Whenever we're in the top position, the person about to be trying to turn into you. They're trying to push you away. And I started doing this a lot when the person tried to bench press me away here, right? Always swim your hand in between their two arms here. Lean forward here. When I lean forward, I place my hand behind the back. When I place my hand behind the back here, I try to get my hand directly on the spine, straight down as far as I can. So I drop in and I put my hand in position here. Now, when I put my hand position here, I take my left hand and I make a post. The reason why I post here is so I can pull you in like a windshield that, wiper. That, that's, that, I have never seen that before. Yeah, when I pull you in with like, like, with a, like a windshield wiper here, I'm folding you in half here, right? Okay. The more posture you have, the stronger you're gonna be. When I start folding you in half here, like I'm trying to bend you in half, it's only gonna be weaker for you, okay. a weaker position for you, stronger for us on top. So I'm here, one, and now once I pulled you in towards me, I just simply let my shoulder roll here. Let it roll, let it roll, let it roll. Now I can keep all of my weight on that one shoulder. So I, it's like a, a like I'm a tripod, right? One, two, three. But the main focus is on my on this leg here, right? On the on the on that tripod leg yep. here. Boom, driving that weight down. So I really want to pin you down. We all we all seen it before. You do a knee cut. We knee cut. We pass the personal bonds bucking, bumping, trying to hip out, try to regain their guard. When you put that shoulder pressure down, you twist someone like a towel. Once again, you're forcing the person to look away from the side that we're passing to. So if you're, if I allowed you to look this way and I pass your guard here like this, you're gonna bump, hip escape. No, exactly. It's gonna be a battle every single time. But now if I make you look the opposite way to where I'm passing, I can avoid that battle, right? So I'm here, one, two, 
make you look to your right. So when I pass to your left here, it's gonna be much harder for you to face me, bump, and try to hip escape now. I'm just gonna keep my weight nice and heavy on top, no knees on the mat, toes on the mat, and I keep pulling myself in towards you, keeping that pressure heavy on top. Man, that's amazing. Thank that you. Was, that, was, that was one of the best passes ever so far, Logi. Thank you. Be honest. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. And, and like I said, and it feels like you have the gi. There's so much pressure. It does, right? I can't believe it's no gi. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate no, that. That means was, a lot to me. Yeah. And it's a good one, especially for out the gi. You know, a lot of people are using the butterfly hooks to elevate people and get underneath them. Good. This way, we just keep them glued to the mat the whole time. Good. Yeah, guys, uh, JT just shot an entire structure all yeah. about guard passing for no gi. And that's pretty much what he has been using like to win the two ADCs yeah. in a row, which is really, really hard to achieve. So it's going to be at bjjfanatics.com soon. So maybe by the time you're watching, it's already there. So make sure to check that out. And thanks so much, JT. Thank appreciate you. It. I appreciate you. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.